Hello! My name is Blanche and I want to talk about something really, really private, which is my disease. I have the endometriosis and uh, so I want to talk about how I found out I have this disease and I really want to talk about how I cured this disease. Today I'm not sick anymore and I would never thought I could be cured one day. So I'm really, really happy. So let's find out what happened. Uh, five years ago, I had a lot of pain. Uh, I always had a lot of pain during my period, but this time I was in Scotland and I could not even stand up. I could not sit down. I could not do anything. And when I came back uh, to France, my country, I went to see uh, a doctor and she said it could be the endometriosis. I didn't know anything about this disease. And I went for a lot of tests and they found out I have cysts, four cysts in my ovaries. So I had a surgery um, a year after I found out my disease. In five years, I had three different treatments, which are pills like birth control, but I have to take it every day. So it did stop my period. So I didn't have my period for five years. So I began to research. And I just knew dairy is really, really bad for endometriosis and red, red meat. What happened, how I cured, is my mom one day called me and she told me, oh my god, there is this diet, it's amazing, it can cure cancer, it can cure a lot of things, and I'm sure if you do it, it's really healthy and you are going to cure it. I'm like, no way. So the diet is a, a raw food diet. I don't know if you heard about it, but it's really, really famous to... Um, to heal a lot of things, but I I didn't even research on the internet or anything. I just tried the diet. So if there is even one person chance that this can cure my freaking disease, then let's do it. Right away, I felt really more connected to my body. I could go to the toilet more often, which is really important when you're in endometriosis. And I, I keep my treatment, okay? I was still on my treatment, uh, but I begin to feel really, 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 really good. Uh, so I continued this diet and then after, uh, so it was in January and then in April I was in New Zealand and I, I had this, uh, suddenly I had this pain in my lower belly and I could not walk, I could not stand up for three days. Um, the second day I asked um, a friend to take me to the emergency in New Zealand. So I went there and I had to check everything. She checked everything i never had this in my life like the chick my belly my everything everything i felt like so much more than naked in there so this happened it's really important because it's i actually realized let late later later <laughs> that when you cure you actually have a big pain in t at, at the moment because it's your body cleaning it's your body healing so it's normal to feel a lot of pain and I didn't know at this time so I was like oh no I did this diet for nothing and uh anyway and then I came back in France and in July and I had everything checked so I went to my doctor my surgeon and I told him this story and we went to scan my body to see if I have any cyst anything wrong so doctor who scanned my body he said you know if you didn't tell me you have endometriosis I would not even guess it like look at your body it's perfect there is nothing so I was really happy for me I did heal I never felt this good before so I was like okay the second step now is to stop my treatment stop my birth control treatment and see if I can have my period and how my body reacts I wait five weeks and then I had my period but this time I had my period and I was like, oh my God, I have my period. Like I didn't feel anything in my body. It was weird, but I didn't feel any pain for the first time of my life. I had blood coming and nothing happened. Like it really, it was amazing. I'm so grateful. Sorry. I'm so grateful. Please, please. If you know someone who has pain during her period, please tell her having pain in your period is not normal.